us are coming. This planet will be ours. You lost this war before you started, fool. <laughs> Subsector Aurelia. This cluster of worlds stands on the very edge of the Imperium of Man. From this frontier came the Blood Ravens, a chapter of the Emperor's own Space Marines. Captain Davian Thule and a handful of Space Marines lead the raw recruits defending these worlds. Now, another Space Marine joins this desperate battle. A newly promoted commander, ready to lead in our darkest hour. You are this Space Marine. And you will tip the balance toward victory. Calderas. We Blood Ravens select our initiates from this world's fierce warriors. Calderas is the cradle and the future of our chapter. Now, the orcs would take it from us. This we cannot allow. that are out in the open.
This is Captain Davian Thule, in command here on Calderas. We are battling the orcs that threaten this world. You have dropped right into the combat zone. I am north of you with several squads of our initiates. We are under heavy fire and losing control of our flanks. Move north and provide support. Greenskins will not give us much time before they attack again. I need you and Sergeant Tarkas to take charge of driving the orcs back. Move up to the ruins east of here and prepare to repel the next orc wave. Orcs. Orc vehicle. Stay in cover. That truck has a heavy gun. Oh, shoot! In less die in your kids! Oh. They're in the ruins! Ugh. Go get me some more boys! And these Yumis is sparking up me truck! Back through the tunnel! They looking for a Well done, Commander. Those orcs have opened a path through the hill somehow. Move forward and seal it. Also took off quick. He's right now about that truck piece. More orcs. And lots of cover to use on our approach. Tactical squad, return fire. Use a grenade. Enemy grenade. I love it. Commander, the orcs are using a guard tower near the cave mouth. My squad can take it out with a grenade. The Greenskins are clearly using that mine as a passage, Commander. Seal that entrance by any means necessary. The orcs have stacked fuel and ordnance near the entrance over there. A well-placed grenade should ignite it and bring the whole cave down. Good work, Space Marines. The Greenskins will not be using that passage again anytime soon. But the leader managed to escape through the tunnel before we could kill him. That was our chance to cut this invasion off at the head. He will show himself again, Tarkas. And when he does, we will be ready. Thunderhawks are en route. Prepare for extraction. Welcome aboard Strike Cruiser Armageddon, Commander. Calderas is currently facing a massive orc invasion that threatens to spill over to the entire sector. Urgent distress signals are coming from other nearby sectors, but we must concentrate our efforts here. I need you to take charge of an assault that's stalled on the surface below. Drop to the point marked on the planet map and start pushing into the orc's flank. The Greenskins have taken over a hamlet outside Argus. This hamlet sits on a vital supply route, and all of Calderas could fall if we do not dislodge them. Sergeant Avatus and his squad of Devastator Space Marines held the hamlet alone, but they were finally overwhelmed. You must retake the hamlet and drive the orcs back. To aid in this, I am assigning Sergeant Cyrus and his squad of scouts to your command. His infiltration expertise should prove invaluable. This guard duty stuff is naff. We should be out stopping you again like we did to the town. Wait, 
Did you eat something? Time to move down. Next target. Cyrus to Armageddon. In position. Space Marines, heartening news. Avatus, the squad leader who defended the hamlet, is still alive. The orcs incapacitated him, but apparently could not finish the job. Avatus is too stubborn to die. So it would seem, Cyrus. An orc guard position stands between you and Sergeant Avatus. Approach with stealth and eliminate the greenskins. Understood. Cover. Bring down that guard tower, Cyrus. A demolition charge will bring that tower down. Four guards eliminated. Excellent work, Cyrus. Avatus's position is on your tactical display. Revive him so that he may join your attack. Moving to capture. Repositioning. Ugh. Damn orcs found another pass through the hills. There is a relay beacon near your position, Commander. Secure it, and we can deploy reinforcements to fill out your squads. Reinforcements inbound. Excellent. Avatus and his Devastator squad are back to full strength. Now, push into the hamlet and eliminate those orcs, Commander. My squad should set up in heavy cover, Commander. The suppressive fire from my heavy bolter will keep the greenskins pinned. Advantage. There. Devastator's ready to fire. Our heavy bolters are deadly, but they take time to set up and have a limited field of fire. Commander. There is a second relay beacon near your position. Activate it to finish securing the hamlet. Formation, brother. Excellent work, Commander. The hamlet is secure. More orcs are on the way, Commander. Set up your forces to repel the attack. This hamlet must not fall again. Ah, Good work, Avatus. They have nowhere to run now. Target them before they can get to cover. are on approach to return you to the Armageddon. Well done, Commander. With the hamlet cleared, we can secure the main route into the capital. The Greenskins knew to strike where we were most vulnerable, Captain Thule. Cyrus is correct. Someone is agitating the orcs and pointing them at valuable targets. If we are going to win this war, we need to find out who is using the Greenskins against us. Commander, the orcs have struck another critical target. The orc raiding parties are led by a knob named Skykiller. This knob leads a squad of Stormboys, orcs equipped with primitive jump packs. Stormboys are especially ruthless orcs that can strike quickly and escape before reinforcements arrive. Eliminate Skykiller. This will buy us valuable time and may uncover who is guiding these orcs. Flagged on the map, Commander. 
We will blaze a trail of blood straight there. Keep boasting and the blood will be ours. Commander, you are near an important communication array. Capturing that array will give us a better hold on the planet. That array is well defended. Capturing it will not be simple. Attack this way, brother! The array is in our hands. Field generators are deploying now, Commander. Additional generators will not be available until your next deployment. destroyed, Commander. Another Greenskin dead. Make ready for extraction. Well done, Commander. We will find who is strengthening this Orc Horde yet. I am deploying a team to search the Orc remains for clues as to who is agitating them. Have we received any additional word from the neighboring sector, Captain? No, we have lost all contact with them. What could possibly take out the communications network of an entire sector in a few days? We will have to investigate, but the defense of Calderas must come first. Commander, deploy to the surface as soon as your squads are ready. Commander, the orcs have struck another valuable target. A powerful orc chieftain named Gutwrencher is leading the assault, but someone must have pointed him at this target, likely without his even knowing it. Take your squads and eliminate this beast before he does more damage. Keep on the lookout for clues as to who may be manipulating him.
Sanchez's location is marked on your map display, Commander. You will need to fight through the orcs defending him. Did ya? Guess I got to kill ya myself. Target sighted. We are your death, Greenspan. is dead at last. Ready for extraction, Commander. Good work, Commander. Gutwrench's death has scattered his orc band. We have found crucial evidence among the remains of Skykiller and Gutwrench's orcs. Both had recently visited Fellhammer Mine in the mountains outside Argus. Whoever is stirring up the orcs must be using Fellhammer as a base of operations. Commander, the time has come to strike at our true enemy. Whoever has been provoking and guiding the Greenskins is holed up at Fellhammer Mine on the outskirts of Argus. We believe that Mech Badzappa, the orc who escaped us when you first arrived on Calderas, is also headed for the mine. You and your squads will drop south of Fellhammer and push north. Strength and firepower will pay greater dividends than stealth. For this reason, Sergeant Cyrus will remain aboard the Armageddon and provide mission support. Who's out in the sky? Eliminate the orcs. Move north up the valley, Commander. 
Get to Fellhammer Mine and find out who is stirring up the orcs. Tactical Marines awaiting orders. Movement on the ridge! <laughs> Gone. But those were no orcs. Here's the convoy. The orcs slaughtered them. We will avenge them. Keep moving. Orc gunners on the ridge! Get to cover! Fury from the sky! Cut them down! Sergeant Thaddeus, reporting for duty, Commander. Did you have a pleasant rest, waiting for the most dramatic moment to strike? Good to see you too, Avatus. Prepare for combat. Commander, my squad can use our jump packs to land right in the middle of those gunners. They're no match for us in close combat. Commander, there is a communications array nearby that we should secure for the chapter. Strategic assets like these grant us combat advantages and allow us to more easily reinforce in the field. I will run a scan on their defenses. Commander, the orcs are well entrenched at the main entrance. A frontal assault would be unwise. A jump, some grenades, and we're in, Cyrus. And right in the sights of the whole orc horde. Full assault, then! Strike hard and true! Operations. Fellhammer Mine is close by, Commander. Assault squad repositioning. Trouble. These are the Orc guards killed where they stood. Someone else has gone through here. Swiftly! Before the humans arrive! We cannot allow one obstinate Orc to derail the Osseus plan. Who did spook Sky Killer and Gut Wrencher? Inside poor guy says you ain't even orcs at all! Now the humans join the fray, I see. The fools cannot see the true threat facing us all. Not Stratus, not Space Marines too! Time to lag it! Eldar, and a warlock leads them. Commander, the Eldar must be the ones who have been stirring up the orcs. Kill those Eldar before they escape. Eldar. We stand, and you have fallen. This is a grave development, Commander. The Eldar are evidently provoking and influencing the Orcs. Their involvement is hardly good news. They claim to be stirring up the Orcs to combat a common threat. What could that be? I would not put much stock in what the Eldar say. They are deceitful and manipulative by nature. That they are, Tarkas. But the Eldar aren't fools. The warlock you defeated may have been guiding the orcs here on Calderas, but he was only one part of a larger plan. We are receiving reports that the Eldar are stirring up the orcs on the nearby Typhon system. The Armageddon will take you to Typhon, so you can engage the enemy there. 
I will relay all distress signals we receive from Typhon back to you. Commander, this is the Armageddon's navigation display. From here, you can review data on the planets of the Aurelian subsector. You can also order the Armageddon to initiate warp travel to one of these worlds. When you are ready, initiate travel to the Typhon system. We are receiving reports that the Eldar are stirring up the orcs on the nearby Typhon system. Like Calderas, Typhon is a recruiting world for our chapter. We cannot allow it to fall. The Armageddon will take you to Typhon, so you can engage the enemy there. I will remain here on Calderas to coordinate defensive operations. I will relay all distress signals we receive from Typhon back to you. Commander, the Greenskins continue to attack vulnerable targets. A communications array has come under attack from an Orc horde. They seek to loot and destroy this important structure. These arrays improve our communications across the subsector and allow us to monitor enemy movements. We cannot afford to lose that advantage. The Orc Assault is about to begin, Commander. The Greenskins will target the generators powering the array. If those fall, the relay will be theirs. secured. Excellent work, Commander. Losing that array would have been a devastating blow in our fight to save the sector. Losing it to the Orcs would have been particularly painful, since their plan was to loot it for parts. That would have been a blow. No arrays of this type have been made in two millennia. That is correct, Sergeant. We no longer have the technology to make these arrays. Losing one is a blow the Imperium never fully recovers from. It still remains unclear what the Eldar hope to gain by provoking the Orcs. Whatever their purpose, the Eldar are using all their trickery to disrupt communications outside the sector. We are uncertain how they are managing this, but our astropaths describe their interference as a shadow across the warp. A shadow across the warp? Those were their exact words? Yes, those were their exact words, Cyrus. We have more immediate problems, however. Mech Bad Zappa is mounting another offensive on the capital, and I need to see to our defenses. Secure Typhon quickly. I could use you back here soon. Thule out. Why so concerned with the ravings of Astropath, Cyrus? No reason. I just hope that casting a shadow across the warp is an ability the Eldar truly have. For all our sakes. Commander, we have located a substantial Eldar strike force. This force appears to be led by one of their so-called warp spiders. Warp spiders are capable of rapid teleportation. 
which may explain how the Eldar are monitoring the orcs on Typhon without being seen. Eliminate him, and uncover what you can of the Eldar plans on Typhon. Scanners place the warp spider in the position marked on your map. He will not stay there for long. We should move. Agreed, but watch for traps. Remember, a critical manufacturing facility lies nearby. Capturing it will allow us to deploy more rapidly. considered us mere prey. No longer. Excellent work, Commander. Without warp spiders stirring up the orcs, Typhon is far more secure. Your victories against the orcs and Eldar have stabilized the situation on Typhon for the time being. Not all news is good, however. We are receiving numerous reports of local vegetation mutating and attacks by hordes of leaping alien creatures. These creatures, what do they look like? Most of the reports are from citizens, Cyrus, and their fear makes for unreliable descriptions. I need you to return to Calderas as soon as possible. Bad Zappa's orcs have gathered for another major strike against the planetary capital. Without your support, I fear Calderas will fall. I need you to return to Calderas as soon as possible. Bad Zappa's orcs have gathered for another major strike against the planetary capital. I have organized a defense but our initiates will not be able to hold back the Horde for very long. Without your support, I fear Calderas will fall. <laughs> C 
Commander, Mech Bad Zappa and his orcs are set to overrun Argus, the planetary capital. If they do so, all of Calderas will fall. I have set up a defense at the city gates, but the Initiates and Space Marines there need your support. You will drop south of their position and drive north to secure the gates. I have taken a few Space Marines to the east and have cut off the orcs' main approach. Calderas must not fall, Commander. Thing. What? You kids can't do anything right! I'll have to fix it myself! Eliminate those orcs! You mean the estate shooting! Get these rough munchers off of my backside! The orc leader, he's getting away! Your order, engage the power! Big and old to be in an orc like me! Assault squad! Fool to all Blood Ravens! Prepare for emergency extraction to the Armageddon! We are facing far more than orcs or Eldar! Commander, Captain Thule needs your aid. Deploy to his position immediately. Cyrus here. Green skin activity. Oh. It is done! Open fire! What were those things? A foe far deadlier than 
Orcs or Eldar Thaddeus. More Xenos! Fight through to Captain Thule! It is done! Move on! There he is! Commander, I ordered all of you to extract, not to run to your death! our darkest hour. Captain Thule has fallen to aliens who have escaped retribution. A massive high fleet looms over our recruiting worlds. But this battle is not over. Get Captain Thule to the apothecary. Hurry! Calm yourself, Thaddeus. Gordian is already at work. Commander. I am Apothecary Gordian, Chief of Genomedicine aboard the Armageddon. Captain Thule still lives, but he is in grave condition. Many of his vital organs and implants were destroyed, and an alien poison is attacking surviving tissues. I have placed Captain Thule in stasis to halt the poison's progress, but as of now, I have no means to counteract its effects. Gordian had better prepare himself for more of us to require his tending. You fear the aliens, Cyrus? I know no fear, Avatus. But I am no fool. Those were Tyranids. Alien monsters who strip worlds of all life. There are billions of them. And only a handful of us. Have you faced these things before, Cyrus? Once, a long time ago, when I served in the Death Watch. We are going to need all the help we can get to face this infestation. Even then, we will probably fail. Commander, with your permission, I will attempt to raise the nearest of our chapter fleets. This may take some time, however. In the meantime, we need to secure Typhon before the rest of the Tyranid Swarm arrives. Otherwise, our supply lines will be devastated. There is an Eldar raiding party that continues to wreak havoc on our defenses on Typhon. We should return to Typhon and eliminate those Eldar. Commander, we have located the Eldar raiding party that threatens our supply lines between Typhon and Calderas. We have identified their leader as the dangerous Ranger Nemerian. He is apparently coming from an operation in Orc territory. This is our chance to cripple Eldar operations on Typhon. We may also uncover more of the Eldar's plans. I suggest we neutralize him immediately, Commander. Eldar warriors have deployed to defend the target, Commander. They hope to cover his escape, no doubt. This we cannot allow. Eldar 
The Tyranids are coming. That explains their actions among the Orcs. What do the Tyranids have to do with Eldar helping Orcs? A full-fledged Orc uprising could actually slow the Tyranids, Thaddeus. If the Eldar were not doing this on our own recruiting worlds, we could use the situation to our advantage. Using Orcs and Eldar to stop an enemy? Why would we waste our time with that? We are Space Marines. We fear nothing because we are Fear Incarnate. We may be Fear Incarnate, Avatus, but we face an enemy that knows no fear. We will need every advantage we can get if we want to save the Sector. So the Eldar were uniting the Orcs to slow down the Tyranids? Yes, Nemerian clearly knew of the Tyranids. This explains much, but we have been getting reports of other Eldar activity in the Sector that is not related to the Orcs. Clearly, the Eldar have other plans in motion, none of which can be good for us. I will keep you apprised of any further developments, Commander. What can you tell us about the Tyranids, Cyrus? The Tyranids are unlike any other threat we have faced, Targus. 
Orcs may operate in vast hordes, but they still have individual chieftains that unite them. Kill these chieftains, and the Orc horde is weakened and scattered. A Tyranid Hive fleet, however, is a single massive organism. Every creature in the swarm is simply one part of a single terrifying mind. We cannot break the Tyranids' morale, or take advantage of their pride. We cannot make them see reason. And for every beast we kill, a million more are ready to take its place. But what do they want? The Hive devours entire worlds. Its goal is to feed itself and grow. And it will not stop until the entire galaxy is consumed. Commander, the Orcs continue to undermine our defenses on Calderas. We need to shore up these defenses if we are to have any hope of stopping the Tyranids. A message is coming in from Chapter Command. Commander, this is Gabriel Angelos aboard the Battle Barge Litany of Fury. I have received word of the Tyranid threat facing Subsector Aurelia and of Captain Thule's grave condition. The Tyranids are a threat of unimaginable proportions, Commander. They are endless in number, and intent on consuming whole worlds. The Litany of Fury is now making for Aurelia at all speed, but we are weeks away. I will relay all distress signals back to you while we devise a plan of attack. Commander, we have located Captain Thule's attacker. We cannot allow this creature to escape retribution again. Commander, we have located Captain Thule's attacker. The warrior beast that you drove into the Badlands has resurfaced, leading a swarm of lesser Tyranids. This is our first chance to strike back at the Tyranid enemy, and we cannot pass it up. Collecting samples from this creature's corpse may also lead to a cure for Captain Thule, and could give us valuable information on how to defeat the High Fleet. This area is heavily infested, Commander, so be prepared for heavy resistance. Target the larger creatures to disrupt the swarm. That will buy us the time to get to our target. Captain Thule will have his vengeance. Yeah. 
Commander. Apothecary Gordian has dispatched servitors to collect and analyze the warrior's corpse. Our librarians have also consulted the more complete records aboard the Litany of Fury. With this information, we have devised a plan of attack against the Hive Fleet. Tyranids have a simple and terrible agenda, Commander. Left unchecked, they will kill and consume every living thing on the planet. Our only hope of stopping the Tyranids is to strike at the heart of the Hive Fleet itself. For us to do this, you must first accomplish three critical tasks. You must locate and secure the astronomic array hidden on planet Typhon. Only its precise scans will allow us to analyze the Hive Fleet and locate its weaknesses. You must also obtain a sample of the Hive Fleet's biotoxins. Only a pure gene sample will allow us to develop a poison to strike at the Hive Fleet. And you must secure access to Angel Forge on planet Meridian. Only this ancient forge's vast manufacturing capabilities will allow us to produce weapons with which to deliver our poison. Each of these tasks pits your handful against untold billions. But failure means the utter annihilation of our worlds and a death sentence for our chapter. Commander, we need to take direct control of Angel Forge. I'm authorizing you to travel to Meridian. The planetary governor has been less than cooperative thus far. So be prepared for bureaucratic resistance. Angelos out. Commander, the Eldar you have encountered in the sector are turning into a very serious threat. We are now receiving reports that they are active on the subsector capital planet of Meridian. Meridian is home to billions of Imperium citizens and the site of massive manufacturing facilities. Chief among these is the ancient Angel Forge. We must secure access to the Forge if we are to manufacture our weapons against the Hive Fleet. The Sector Governor on Meridian will marshal his forces, but you will need to travel there personally and ensure our access to the Forge. Meridian stands at the very heart of Subsector Aurelia. Billions call its cities home. Its factories and forges are keys to victory against the Tyranids. We must not allow Meridian to fall. Commander, welcome to Meridian Orbit. My name is Elena de Rosa. Governor Vandis has assigned me to be your liaison while in system. This is not the hinterlands of Calderas or Typhon, Commander, so a certain amount of discretion would be appreciated. It is imperative that we secure access to Angel Forge, Administrator de Rosa. Yes, so your Captain Angelos has said. Angel Forge is the most important manufacturing facility in the sector, however. Its use follows a strict schedule set by Governor Vandis and his Privy Council years in advance. Nevertheless, there may be a way to arrange special access to Angel Forge. Meridian has recently come under repeated attack from Eldar Raiders. They have already inflicted substantial damage to parts of our communication and supply infrastructure. The Imperial Guard forces stationed on Meridian are already tied down, suppressing food riots in the lower city. They do not have the manpower to deal with the Eldar as well. Were you to employ your special expertise in such matters and repel these raids, 
Governor Vandis believes he could arrange limited access to Angel Forge. Eldar sightings will be transmitted to your planetary display. DeRosa out. Commander, I left Meridian decades ago, but this is typical behavior. The nobility has always closed its eyes to problems in the Undercity. The Eldar must have raided wealthy spires for the noble houses to even acknowledge a problem. They will acknowledge it when the sky darkens with tyrannid spores and hive ships. On that subject, Commander, initial scans indicate no tyrannid activity whatsoever on Meridian. No activity at all. No mutated plants or slaughtered wildlife. No atmosphere of changes. None that we can detect. Check your sensors again, Martellus. Hive fleets do not ignore worlds in their paths. Commander, the Eldar seem intent on crippling Meridian's infrastructure. They have just silenced a major communications array used by Meridian's noble houses. Valuable items were also pilfered from nearby storage vaults. A powerful Eldar hover tank is leading these attacks, and the Imperial Guard has thus far been unable to stop it. If these raids continue, planetary defenses could be seriously compromised. The Eldar strike without warning.
distraction. Prelate Benetio of House Toral passes on his thanks, Commander. He looks forward to the recovery of his stolen goods and the repair of the damaged array. Is this liaison unaware that a Tyranid Hive fleet is descending upon this sector? We are currently reviewing the full extent of the Tyranid threat, Sergeant. We have yet to find evidence that Meridian is in any real danger. DeRosa, out. Imperium Tech Priests have been working to restore an ancient astronomical array deep in the jungles of Typhon. If reports are accurate, this array is capable of detailed scans of an entire subsector. This data could allow us to uncover a critical weakness in the Hive Fleet. We will have to make contact with the Tech Priests at their base camp on Typhon and ask for the location. Commander, Captain Angelos here. You must defend the Capital World and secure Angel Forge. It will all be for naught, however, if we cannot develop weapons with which to attack the Hive Mind itself. You must locate and secure the Astronomic Array hidden on planet Typhon. You must also obtain a sample of the Hive Fleet's biotoxins. Angelos out. Commander, we have detected a major Eldar incursion. A large alien force has struck a series of Imperial Guard positions and civilian transport hubs in rapid succession. A powerful Wraith Lord Walker reportedly led the attack. The alien host is retreating, but we have managed to keep sight of them. We need you to strike before the Wraith Lord escapes. location is flagged on your map display, Commander. This giant wields bizarre and dangerous technologies. Our weapons will find their mark.
The warlock mentioned another Eldar, Idranel. This could be the Eldar leading operations in the sector. I will contact the fleet commander. Chapter records may hold information on her. Commander, Cyrus was correct. I have finished an analysis of additional data recovered from our recent battles against the Eldar on Meridian. They somehow managed to interfere with our scans of the Meridian system. I have compensated, and I fear there is far more evidence of Tyranid infestation on Meridian than I believed. What's more, long-range scans show the High Fleet is accelerating toward the Capital World. I have transferred protocols for counteracting the Eldar sensor baffling to key stations across Meridian. Commander, this is Elena de Rosa. The skies... I mean... This alien swarm is filling the skies over Meridian. Now she wakes to the threat. I... I apologize for my rudeness earlier, Sergeant Avatus, was it? The Eldar sabotage campaign has crippled our defenses. Your help in keeping Meridian secure is critical. Where is Governor Vandis in all this? Governor Vandis and the Privy Council have withdrawn to... strategize. My failure to heed your warnings has already cost hundreds of thousands of lives in the Habspires. Commander, I implore you, help us keep Meridian from falling. Commander, chapter records do indeed make mention of this Idranel, which the Eldar Warlock mentioned. She is a Farseer, a witch leader of her people, and aligned with the same craft world which opposed our efforts during the Cronus campaign. Idranel is undoubtedly the leader of Eldar operations on Meridian. The Tyranid invasion continues all about the sector, but this is our opportunity to put an end to the Eldar efforts to destabilize the subsector. to move quickly. Every moment here gives the Tyranid infestation time to grow. Aerial assault! <laughs> this doomed planet. She's escaping! I admit I have enjoyed this dalliance, humans. I may even miss you when you are ash and cinders. Ash and cinders? Tyranids drain worlds of life. They do not burn them. The alien witch escaped! She laughs at us while our worlds die! Commander, I share your sergeant's frustration, but I have far graver news. I have finally obtained the master control codes for Angel Forge, and have transmitted them to your ship and to Captain Angelo's fleet. I fear it may be too late to do you any good, however. Another Tyranid swarm is driving into the Forge area. Massive defensive walls guard the approach to the Forge, but the Imperial Guard forces stationed there are being overrun. Your delaying and politicking has doomed us all, Darosa. 
If so, I'm sure my end will be suitably horrific, Sergeant. I only wish I could say the same of Governor Vandis. What do you mean? I make no excuses for my mistakes, but I have been fighting to get those codes for you for days. The Governor simply ordered me to continue delaying you, and then stopped answering me altogether. When I finally dealt with the House Vandis soldiers guarding his residence, I found he had left the Meridian system for some private retreat three sectors away. I did find the codes for Angel Forge, however. You took a real risk, Administrator. They could hang you for treason if the Governor returns. Governor Vandis turned tail and left the entire sector to die. Your commander is here, fighting to save it. If anything, I was far too slow to see where my loyalties belonged. I think she missed her calling. She should have been a sister of battle. Commander, the situation on Meridian is dire, but the Emperor did not create his space marines to fight battles that were easy. Administrator DeRosa has given us the keys to Angel Forge. We must repel the aliens attacking it. Angel Forge is our only hope of saving the sector. Commander, the major gate in the Angel Forge defensive wall is open. The Tyranid swarm is pouring through, and we also have reports that Orc looters are operating in the area. Unless the gate is closed, and the enemy driven back, Angel Forge is doomed. Only the Emperor's Space Marines can seal Angel Gate. Commander, base defenses failed almost 20 minutes ago. What of the base gates? The power supply failed. This silenced base guns and left the guardsmen dangerously exposed. The same generators power the gates. Angel Gate must be closed or the forge will fall. I am relaying the generator coordinates to your map display. You must activate at least three of them to close Angel Gate. Some Imperial Guard squads are still fighting the enemy, Commander. Cowering behind closed doors is more likely, Thaddeus. Cowards, one and all. Tools of the Emperor are meant to be used, not wasted. Agreed, Targus. We should provide assistance if we can. There! More survivors! Market. Sergeant Merrick, 85th Vendelant. You have my thanks. Ambush! Ravener, kill it! Located. Another one! Destroy them! Under attack! New target. It is done. Move on. Infernal snake beasts. Skin looter is ahead. You mean you try to take our flash generator? Random looters! Material infestation. Savages to the end. Close Angel Gate from the Gatehouse. However, only a few mortar batteries have reactivated. Rousing additional generators will restore more defenses and make taking the Gatehouse easier. The choice of tactics is yours, of course. An allies, Commander. Sergeant Merrick here. My men are moving up to the guard towers overlooking Angel Gate. We will provide covering fire when you make your advance on the Gatehouse. One of our allies. Excellent. Additional.
Personal sentry guns are now online. Point secure. Mortar batteries three and four are now operational. Tactical Marine, forward. An ally is Generators are now operational. Defenses are fully online, but Angel Gate remains open. Commander, you are near the gatehouse. Capture it to close Angel Gate. Very little about this gate is angelic. Here come the Space Marines! Give them covering fire! It's done. Commander, we are tracking large Tyranid spores dropping near Angel Gate. This is Avatus. Repositioning. At your attack. Run for your lives! remain a serious concern. Disabling the base generators speaks of some sort of plan. They must want something here. With your permission, I will oversee the mop-up operations. I do not want to leave anything to chance. Commander, a signal from Angel Forge. It is Sergeant Tarkas. Commander, we have spotted orcs making for storehouses north of Angel Gate. I think this may have been their goal all along. Commander, those are the private storehouses of House Vandis. Before his flight, the Governor destroyed the records of what they contained. I can only imagine what weaponry he may have been hoarding, or the damage they could do in Orc hands. She is right, Commander. We must stop those raiders. Commander, you must return to Angel Gate. 
We cannot allow the Greenskins to acquire the weapons contained in the storehouses near the gate. If the Eldar smuggled the Orcs onto Meridian as you suspect, it must have been for a purpose. Deploy your squads to rejoin Tarkas at Angel Gate. Greenskins to the north! Heading for the storehouses! Boss wants you to get the Yumi Sinius bits. Ooh, I love being a looter. Now we can get her the best bits. Reopen the gate. The orcs are already at the storehouses, Commander. Speed, Commander. We need to move up quickly. Devastator Marine. No military storehouse. These are relics of the chapter. Those items match the descriptions of relics long lost to the chapter. You should secure them and await extraction. is under attack! The Eldar! The witch! Idranel! It must be! Can't get a fix on him! Return fire! Return fire! Commander, we'll need your help to repel the attack. This warehouse is full of relics stolen from our chapter. Your governor is a thief as well as a coward. I couldn't agree more, Sergeant. But the fate of Meridian still rests on holding Angel Gate. Enforcements. She is right, Commander. We cannot allow Angel Gate to fall. I will hold off these aliens and guard our relics. Go save Angel Gate. Our ally is using forces to the fire now. We are facing death and Come, humans. It is the day of your deaths. And I will execute It took firepower to do this. Eldar, you will not reach Ignel in time to stop the detonation. Detonation? They mean to destroy the forge. The forge and this entire world, human. Curse and heresy. You have not yet earned your place. Yes, the plans were correct. The Forge's power supply is unstable. A simple chain reaction will wreath this world in fire. Indrinal, your wounds. The humans press in. Suffering and I are old friends, Warlock. See to the humans, and I will enact our final gambit to protect the Croft world. My retinue's wards will keep me safe long enough. Of course, Idranel. Eldar! Our Farseer prepares to strike against the enemy! Defend her at all costs! Commander, we are experiencing massive power fluctuations. 
Whatever is happening there, you must stop it. class. That cannon blew open the gate. Anti-armor tactics, now! Eldar down. Eldar! Eldar! Your order! Redeploy! Target in sight! More of them. Kill them all. Destroy the Space Marines. Cut them down where they stand. Target confirmed. It is done. Move Still on. Here. Still here. She summoned reserving abolition. More of them. Kill them all. Enemy has us in close combat. Damnation. We need support. Understood. Hold fast. This way. Cut those aliens down. Sergeant Tarkas of Terminator Squad reporting for duty, Commander. No! I... I stand with my brothers, Eldar. What is this? Terminator. Where did it come from? They were the centerpiece of Bandus's collection. Now let us finish with these Xenos. I seek to doom these worlds. You never asked yourself where this high fleet was bound for next. Unless we stopped it here, it would next feed upon Eldar. Surely even you can see? Three human worlds was a small price to pay to save a craft world. Save your excuses, witch. Angel Forge is secure, and your life is at its end. Commander, I commend you on your leadership in this crisis. You have made very significant progress in your battle with the High Fleet, and the death of Idranel has finally put an end to Eldar operations in the sector. I hope it has, Captain, but I am not so certain. Regardless, securing Angel Forge means we now have a means to produce weapons for our battle against the Tyranids. We still lack any real capability to attack the High Fleet proper, however. Continue your attempts to recover data from the Tech Priest's array on Typhon, and your efforts to cure Captain Thule. Only when we uncover a weakness in the High Fleet and have the necessary biotoxin sample can we put Angel Forge to work for us. Angelos out. And thank you for saving Meridian, Commander. I have issued a warrant for the former governor's arrest and confiscated all of House Vandis' holdings. We will conduct a thorough search for any additional Blood Raven relics. You should find my administration to be much more cooperative. DeRosa out. Commander. 
If we are to attack the Hive fleet, we need a weapon deadly enough to destroy the Hive ships themselves. Chapter records contain details on several such weapons, but they all rely on matching the exact genetic strain of the Hive fleet. To do so, we must gather samples of the biotoxins used by the Tyranid swarms. Only the purest of samples will do, however. This means locating a primary hive somewhere on Calderas or Typhon. There we can collect pure biotoxin from the hive's heart. To find such a hive, we must collect and analyze samples from Tyranid warrior creatures across these planets. Uncovering these samples may also allow us to counteract the poisons killing Captain Thule. Martellus has prepared a Dreadnought Walker for Captain Thule, but until the poison is counteracted, it must remain empty. Gather these samples as soon as you can, Commander. Without them, we cannot possibly defeat the Hive Fleet. A powerful Tyranid creature has been spotted, Commander. This insidious beast is an especially powerful Ravener. It has burrowed through multiple Imperial Guard outposts, wreaking havoc with morale. The beast's power means it's likely spawned from a primary hive, one that could provide us with a valuable genetic sample. Killing this Ravener will bring us one step closer to finding a primary hive. Be wary of ambushes. These Raveners can appear without warning. Forward. Congratulations on your victory, Commander. You're now a step closer to obtaining the biotoxin sample we need. Angelos out. This cut is deep. Any deeper and I would have lost an eye, like Captain Thule. How did Captain Thule lose his eye? He would never answer when we asked him. Modesty on his part. He lost it on Cronus when he destroyed the Necron Lord. The blow should have killed him. Sheer stubbornness was the only thing that could explain how he survived. He never did take credit for destroying the Necron Lord. He always attributed it to Mikolas. But those of us close to the fight saw that Mikolas had already gone down to wounds. Captain Thule liked to see his men succeed. I think that was what he liked most about Command. Commander. Orbital sensors have located a powerful Tyranid target. This creature of the Zoanthrope genus exists to channel the psychic might of the Hive Mind. 
victory here will help us on all fronts, Commander. We will push the infesting swarm back a step, gaining us precious time. We will also gain valuable information that could help us locate a primary hive. This beast must die today. We know the stakes, Tarkas. The time for proclamations is long past. at my mind. We all feel it, Cyrus. Steal yourselves and advance. Hive node destroyed. Under attack. Heading out. Acknowledge. Attack this way, brothers. Destroy them. And repositioning. Yeah. Destroy them. Yeah. Your command. Quick. Yeah. My mind is my own beast. My own. A great victory, Commander. Our librarians report the Hive Fleet shuddered and screamed when you dealt the killing blow. And we are even closer to obtaining the biotoxin we need to execute our plan of attack. This zoanthrope was frustratingly close to giving us a pure genetic sample, but it has undergone small mutations. We did gather valuable data, though, and we are getting close to isolating the primary hive's genetic template. Why must we find a primary hive? Tyranids mutate rapidly, Sergeant. This is what makes them such deadly opponents. They are constantly evolving to counter our weaponry. A primary hive contains the original genetic template for a hive fleet. If you can find that, you can predict several generations of mutations. Yes, finding a primary hive will allow us to develop a poison that will kill all Tyranid variants quickly. They will not have time to adapt to resistance. Commander, we have a priority target. 
A lictor has been spotted in a critical area and must be eliminated. This creature is a camouflage expert and has likely been preying on the population and weakening our defenses for several weeks. And be on guard, Commander. Lictors are ferocious predators. Do not underestimate this opponent. There have been a series of vicious deaths in nearby communities, Commander. This beast must be responsible. Then it has much to account for. Bye. targeted. for movement. Stay alert. He is luring us in. There! Eliminate him! How can advancing? Incoming attack! Clear the area! Get close to him to ruin his aim! Prepare a Devastator Marines. Dead at last! And one less killer loose among the populace. There are plenty more to take its place, unfortunately. Well done, Commander. These infiltrators destroy morale and make a stable defense impossible. Angelos out. Commander, some heartening news. Yes, we were able to isolate the final pieces of genetic information we needed. We should be able to locate a primary hive now. Preliminary scans show a hive on Typhon that could be an exact match. I've uploaded the hive's location to your map display. We have located the ruling creature of a major hive, Commander. 
The hive tyrant is the vital link between the hive fleet and space and the organisms on the planet's surface. Eliminating the tyrant will leave the Tyranid forces in disarray for a time, compelling them to withdraw. These are the vulnerabilities you must exploit if the subsector is to hold long enough for the chapter fleet to arrive. Bring this beast down. drive a spike into the hive's very heart. Well put, Abatus. But the tyrant will not die easily. Make ready for battle. Tyranids attacking. No mercy. Poisoning the ground! Clear out! Your orders! Burial assault! Go! It's charging! Move! Dead. At last, we actually heard the Hive fleet. Amazing. Follow me, brothers! You have struck a telling blow, Commander. Legions of Tyranids are directionless without their tyrant. The Hive will eventually produce another Hive tyrant, but it will take time. That it will, Sergeant. And we can make good use of the time before it does. Angelos out. Avatus and Tarkas served on Cronus, but not you, Cyrus. No. I was assigned to train scouts for Captain Boreal's campaign in the Karava system. A blight on our history. Why so? Obviously you all know something. What happened to Captain Boreal? The Karava campaign did not go well. Boreal and many others died there, including most of my scouts. Karava left the chapter dangerously undermanned. If we lose our recruiting worlds now, the Blood Ravens will not survive. Karava was a huge mistake. I will not speak of it again.
planet Typhon orbits a star on the outer edge of subsector Aurelia. Its lush jungle canopy shrouding it in mystery. Among this beauty lie the keys to our salvation and the roots of our destruction. Commander, the Tyranid Swarm continues to strike at vulnerable targets. A powerful Tyranid warrior has led its brood into shelters and other areas previously thought safe. The consequences on morale have been disastrous. Worse still, this outbreak, if not stamped out quickly, could destabilize the entire region. Eliminate this beast quickly to keep our holdings secure and drive the swarm back. We are to tend to the fears of the masses now? No. We fight the enemy, wherever he hides. Be wary of ambushes. Prepare for combat. Under attack! Another 
battle won. Those who fear death can emerge from beneath their beds now. Your command I have been studying chapter records, and these look to be the same Tyranids the Ultramarines defeated on Tarsus. They may very well be from that high fleet, Thaddeus. This is what makes the Tyranids so deadly. Only a few Hive ships need to escape a battle for the Hive fleet to survive. These few ships will go on to devour a few poorly defended worlds. This provides the biomass needed to replenish the Hive fleet and make it even larger given enough time. Every Hive fleet we have encountered has had the potential to topple the Imperium, and each one has the potential to spawn any number of splinter fleets if they escape to weaker sectors. Mark my words, Thaddeus. The Imperium has no shortage of deadly enemies, but they all pale in comparison to the Tyranids. Commander, we have finally located a primary hive in the swamps of Typhon. We believe this hive houses a toxin pool that can supply us with the pure genetic sample we have been searching for. If you can secure a sample from this toxin pool, we'll be able to produce the weapon we need to destroy the Hive Fleet. This toxin sample may also allow us to counteract the poisons that are killing Captain Thule. Secure the toxin sample immediately, Commander. The fate of the entire sector depends on it. At the heart of the Tyranid Hive lies the Reclamation Pool. We must have a sample of this purified essence. With it, we may revive Captain Thule. With it, we may develop weapons against the Hive Fleet itself. Play. Collect the sample there. Understood. Acknowledged. My brothers, we go. We have reached the toxin pool. Commander, gather the sample at the pool's edge. This will allow us to prepare an antitoxin for Captain Zool. Relocating. Tyranid warrior, keep it off the commander. Come on, I'm on the warrior. We're conserving ammunition. Destroy those warmines. Sample collected. Apothecary Gordian is analyzing the data to prepare the cure. We have the sample. Our work is done. Make for the extraction point marked on the map. Redeploy! Engage jump pack. It is done! Target killed. to destroy the rest of these nests, Commander. Tyrion is hatching from the nest! Come on, come on. Destroyed their birthing chambers at last. The Tyranids are attacking. Hive Tyrant, concentrate fire. Heading out. The Tyranids are attacking. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mission complete. Enemy structure destroyed. Well done. This hive will wither without its tyrant. And Captain Thule is with us again. Is that you, Gabriel? It is Thaddeus, Captain. Do you not recognize me? The secrets of Cronus shall not pass my lips. Captain Thule must rest now. His revival was a long and difficult process. Administering the antitoxin. Powering the armature. Captain Thule, can you hear us? Excellent work, Commander. Captain Thule's return could be the difference in our fight to save the Sector. It is good to see such a close friend and such a fierce warrior back from the dead. Even if he is confined to a dreadnought. Most importantly, the biotoxin sample you collected will allow us to develop a weapon with which to deal a killing blow against the High Fleet. With Angel Forge secure and the biotoxin sample from Typhon Hive in our hands, the battle goes well. It will all be for naught, however, if we cannot find a weak point in the Hive Fleet itself. You must recover the astronomic data from the Tech Priest Station on planet Typhon. The Chapter, the Sector, and the Imperium itself are counting on you, Commander. Commander. We have located the Tech Priest base camp, but it is in grave danger. An Orc mob is heading straight for their location. We cannot let the Orcs reach the Tech Priest base camp. If the Tech Priests are killed, we may never find the Astronomic Array. Commander, we have located the Tech Priest base camp, but it is in grave danger. An Orc mob is heading straight for their location. These greenskins have just cut a swath through several small communities and outposts. Their leader calls himself Gorwaza, and he commands from a powerful looted tank. We cannot let the orcs reach the Tech Priest base camp. If the Tech Priests are killed, we may never find the Astronomic Array. Stop Gorwaza before he gets to the base camp. Must hurry, Gorwaza is already at the base camp. I have marked its position on your display. Quickly, before we are too late.
Boys, it's crushing time. There's Goaza. Prepare for armor to slather blood, fire and boom. My guts doing way over there! The orc is dead, but the damage is done. The base camp is in ruins and the tech priest's dead. This is grave news, Commander. We cannot stop the Tyranids without the scans from the Astronomic Array. Do we have any leads on what happened to the tech priest reports? It seems the Array has attracted the attention of an orc named Ripa Splitter. He has stolen the data slate, giving the Array's location, and vanished into the deep jungle. Do we have Ripper Splitter's location? Not yet, but we have found one of his lieutenants. I am uploading his last known position to your map display. Find and eliminate that orc, Commander. We cannot let him escape. Commander, the orcs are about to overrun a shrine dedicated to the Emperor. Losing this shrine would bring shame to our chapter and deal a serious blow to sector morale. This would deprive us of the Emperor's blessings, one of the things slowing the Tyranid advance. Protect the shrine at all costs. We will not allow the aliens to desecrate this place. Make sure our generators remain in place, Commander. We cannot protect the shrine without them. Such is the fate of the enemies of man. <laughs> Taking out the ruins. Get to that position, brothers. Purge the enemy. Target killed. We stand victorious in the Emperor's shadow. Well done, Commander. The Orcs will think long and hard before attacking an Imperial Shrine again. It seems the Array has attracted the attention of an Orc named Ripa Splitter. 
He has stolen the data slate giving the array's location and vanished into the deep jungle. Finding Ripa Splitta is our only chance of locating the astronomic array in time. Commander, we have located one of Ripa Splitter's lieutenants. This lieutenant is an orc mech that has been supplying Ripa Splitter's horde with heavy weapons. This mech has made a fatal mistake, however, and has revealed his position. Find him and extract Ripa Splitter's location from him. This is our only hope of finding the astronomic array. The orc has laid several deadly traps near his location. Be on guard. He should be worried, not us. Do not underestimate your opponent, Abatus. That path leads to an early grave. Ready. This way, brothers. Squishy bits! Enemy armor has engaged! Uh, target, brothers. Uh, Enemy destroyed, Commander. Make ready for extraction. This way, brothers! We finally have Ripper Splitter's location. Review the mission briefing in your map display and then recover that data slate. This will allow us to finally pinpoint the Astronomic Array's location. These orc attacks are taking their toll, Captain, and drawing our attention away from the Tyranids. Is there any way we can deal a decisive blow that will stop them once and for all? Orcs are like the many-headed Hydra, Sergeant. Cut off one head, and two more will often appear. But if we keep eliminating their chieftains, the true war boss will eventually appear. And when he does, we will deal the killing blow. Angelos out. Commander, we have a priority target. A thundering Carnifex is driving forward with a host of Tyranid creatures. This Carnifex is very powerful, Commander. But that also makes it valuable to the Hive Mind. These creatures require large amounts of biomass to create and killing it will slow the Tyranid infestation considerably. This will buy more time for the Litany of Fury to make it to Aurelia. map display. Emperor be with you, Commander. Always, Martellus. Always. Bro. 
Others fire. the monster for the chapter attack bioplasma clear that area tactical squad eliminate that target You fought the Necrons on Cronus, did you not? Yes, Avatus and I both did. How do they compare to the Tyranids? Necrons are far deadlier opponents on the battlefield. Their weaponry is like nothing I have ever seen. But I think the Tyranids pose a much greater threat to the Imperium. Necrons have been known to wipe out individual systems. But I have never seen them wipe out multiple sectors like the Hive Fleet we are facing. It is worse than that, Tarkas. The Tyranids come from beyond the galaxy's edge. We have no way of knowing how many more Hive Fleets may be on their way. Commander, we have finally located the Orc who knows the location of the Astronomic Array. This orc is a mad alien who has been fused into one of their obscene war machines. This greenskin calls himself Ripper Splitter and is obsessed with technology. Destroy this alien walker and recover the location of the Astronomic Array. This is our only hope of finding a critical weakness in the Hive Fleet, Commander.
belching contraption. Deploy anti-vehicle weapons. RC Sapri needs squishing. He is just as weak and pathetic as the others, once you crack his shell. Good work, Commander. We have recovered the stolen data slate and eliminated a major orc threat. But was the recovered data of any use? It was, Cyrus. I have determined the location of the astronomic array and uploaded it onto the planetary map display. In order to recover any data on the Hive Fleet, you will need to align the array from the ground, Commander. Commander, we finally have the location of the Astronomic Array. The Array is powered, but we cannot establish a clear communications link with it. You must get to the Array, and manually upload its data on the Tyranid Swarm. This will allow us to find a critical weakness in the Hive Fleet. This ancient astronomic array holds one of the keys to victory against the Tyranids. With its data, we can uncover weaknesses of the Hive Fleet. We must secure the array before others do. Astronomic array is north of your position, Commander. Drop zone secure, Commander. Something is hunting orcs. Stay alert. Green 
Sealed gate, Commander. The tech priests installed power generators to activate the ancient gates into the fortress, Commander. Cabling will lead to the generator. Say it now. Moving to capture. Assault squad ready. Ambush! Take cover! What was that thing? Tyranid, definitely. Some sort of camouflage. Whatever it is, it has the blood of a fallen brother on its talons. Emperor be with you, brother. Obje well done. The gate is opening, Commander. Coordinates fixed. Say it, be vigilant. Yeah, Orcs, open fire! Orcs are firing on us! from the array. Something must have happened there. Take your position, brother. Destroy them! your place. Orc looters! Check on the array, quickly. Have our orders. Objective. Greenskins made a mess of this. Are you seeing this, Tech Marine? Yes, and it is no welcome sight. The orcs have removed a key power coupling. You must recover that coupling. We have coordinates for the orc looters, Commander. There they are! Open fire! Kill these kids, boys! doesn't have the coupling. It must be with another of the mechs. Destroy him! He's his done. Move on! There. The coupling. We have it. Return to the array. Data upload beginning. Well done. I now have a control link to the array and am receiving data. You may proceed to the extraction point indicated on your map. Commander, I am accessing the array tower short-range scanners. I have located the lictor and can track it if you wish. Yes, let's destroy that beast. The decision is yours, Commander, but we have accomplished our mission. Your death is here, Tyranid! Assault destroy- There! No more cover for the beast! No brother dies unavenged, Cyrus. That is our way. Duty comes before vengeance, Avatus. Anything less shames us before the Emperor. Victory! Commander, the data you recovered from the Astronomic Array has allowed us to find a critical weakness in the High Fleet. The High Fleet is controlled by a single massive creature that sits at the center of the fleet. If we manage to destroy it, the rest of the High Fleet will scatter and will be an easy target for our own fleet. We now have all the components necessary to mount a major strike at the High Fleet invading the sector. The Litany of Fury will arrive in system in a matter of days. We will then equip our new weapons and mount an attack on the Hive ship that guides the entire High Fleet. Not all news is good, however. Our surviving librarians say the Hive Mind has become aware of our approach. It is likely to throw its most potent forces at key locations across the subsector. 
it remains to you to hold the sector until we arrive. Angelos out. Commander, the Greenskins continue to take advantage of the chaos in the sector. Whether they are receiving support from the Eldar or simply following an especially dangerous war boss, they excel at striking at vulnerable targets. Our supply lines are being crippled by these raiders, and that puts the whole sector at risk. Eliminate this Orc band with extreme prejudice, Commander. The green skin tank is indicated on your map display. Move! Grenade! It is not the tank. Switch to anti-vehicle tactics. Orcs are firing on us. Cyrus here. Under fire. Scouts here. I was... I was... I 
Got me body in my wagon! Enemy destroyed, Commander. Make ready for extraction. Commander, I sympathize with the people caught on Calderas and Typhon. But shouldn't we concentrate on the most populated worlds? Those of greater value, I mean. Of greater value, Thaddeus? Calderas and Typhon are the chapter's worlds. It is from here that we draw the young warriors who become blood ravens. There are no places of greater value to us. That includes your homeworld of Meridian, Thaddeus. You are no longer an undercity ganger. You are a blood raven. You serve a higher purpose now. The Tyranids are threatening a shrine to the Emperor. Clearly, the hive mind understands that the shrine is channeling the might of the Emperor. This might is slowing the infestation, and the alien mind clearly wishes to see that resistance end. We cannot allow this, Commander. Shrines bolsters morale across the sector and allows our brothers to battle with increased vigor. Commander, it seems the Eldar have not been driven off after all. The Xenos have summoned their demonic avatar, a towering warrior of flame. The avatar and its war host are destroying everything in their path. If the avatar remains loose, Typhon will soon be nothing but a charred cinder. This will be one of the deadliest opponents you ever face, Commander. But we cannot allow Typhon to be reduced to ash. Destroy the Avatar. If only the Eldar turned their fury against the Hive Fleet. Interpreting Eldar motives is a fool's errand, Cyrus. Let us put down this monstrosity and be done with them. Come on, you're Mr. Hide! Find your formation! Take your cover! Turn fire, lovers! My rage has but begun!
Holy Terra. It summons warp fire. Suffering heavy losses. Conserving ammunition. Down. Next target. Formation, brother. Advance. Under enemy attack. This way. In melee. Cannot slip away. This is Avatus. Advance on the enemy, brother. On the attack. Oh, Purge them. The ground is going to ignite. Cyrus here. Under fire. Kill, show them fury. See of the damnable Elder. A legendary victory, Commander. Few could have brought this monstrosity down and lived to tell the tale. It still seems madness that the Eldar would strike at us in the midst of this infestation. From what we can gather, the Eldar's plan was to have the Avatars reduce Typhon to ashes, leaving nothing for the Tyranids to feed upon. Agreed. But the Eldar have a deeper purpose in the Sector. They would not have sacrificed so much just to give the Tyranids one less world to feed on. Commander... Gabriel... Cyrus is right. Eldar are not... fools. I fear you may be right, Davian. The Eldar may continue to be a thorn in our side after this conflict is over. But we cannot take our focus away from the Tyranid threat. Our very survival depends on stopping them. Angelosa. Commander, the time has finally come to end the Orc threat with one crushing blow. We have finally located the Orc Horde's most powerful chieftain. Warboss Bone Smasher has led his orcs against Imperial holdings across three worlds. The fear he inspires has been driving the orc invasion. Bone Smasher is the ultimate leader of all the orcs you have faced since your arrival in the subsector. He will not rest until he has conquered the sector. And so long as he remains alive, the orcs will continue to undermine any defenses we deploy against the Tyranids. Bone Smasher must be stopped, once and for all. So long as this war boss lives, no human in the sector is safe. Back up! 
thing's dead. The Zeno is readying an attack. Clear out. Receiving fire. Relay a safe approach to the Thunderhawks for pickup. I will remember this day when the end comes. The end? You are a morbid one, Cyrus. We are the Emperor's angels of death, Thaddeus. Do you think death will overlook us? I... I suppose not. But why focus on the possibility of death? Today is a day of victory! That's the point. Your death is not merely possible, Thaddeus. It is a certainty. Maybe in this war, maybe in another. One day you will die. On that day, the elation of victory will be very far away. So save some of that victorious cheer. Store it away, so you may call on it when that day comes. Commander, elements of the 85th Vendelin Regiment of the Imperial Guard have managed to organize a defense. The swarm has outflanked the preliminary lines, however, and the guardsmen are cut off. This swarm seems to be led by a snake-like monstrosity, what commissariat records call a ravener, I believe. Only you have a hope of eliminating this beast and allowing the trapped guardsmen to escape. This slither slasher will pay for the men it has killed. We are facing an endless swarm, Thaddeus. This is about more than a few lost guardsmen. There, go! Destroy! 
destroy them. Brothers, fire. Redeploy. Tearing it down. Jump packs. It is done. Move on. Enemy destroyed. This way. Here in that assault. Enemy destroyed, Commander. Vengeance is worth the effort. Let the Emperor worry about revenge, Thaddeus. Concentrate on victory. Thank you, Commander. The Guard units are regrouping now. Meridian is once again in your debt. Cyrus, some of the Guard survivors report seeing Gaunts targeting officers over enlisted troopers. Are the smaller Xenos truly capable of such tactical thinking? Not individually, but the hive mind is capable of a great many things. Commander, a Tyranid Lictor has evidently been stalking the Hablux for weeks. Now a massive infestation has followed in its wake, claiming countless more lives. Eliminating this killer would greatly boost morale among the population and help secure our defenses. Only your space marines have a chance of killing the Lictor before it escapes again. Commander, the Lictor's last known position is on your map display. I doubt it will wait patiently for us, Commander. Agreed. Watch for ambush. No mercy for the misguided. Direct them. Meridian is in your debt again. The death of this beast gives us hope that we may stand against these horrors. Thank you. This foolish administrator clings to hope when there is very little. At least she stands with her world. Unlike the governor.
Your pathetic sentimentality for the faceless masses is getting tiring, Thaddeus. Those masses are the Emperor's people. You had best remember that. Enough. You have your orders. Be true to the chapter and obey. You are foolish to expect unquestioning obedience from them, Tarkas. They are Space Marines. It is their duty to obey. The Commander is due their obedience, and he has it. But you are not their Commander, Tarkas. You are their brother in arms, but their elder brother, a veteran of countless battles. They respect your service record and the Terminator honors you bear. But do they respect you? Do they even know you? And what of you, Cyrus? Do you respect me? Enough to be truthful with you, Targus. Commander, a massive beast is tearing through our undermined defenses. This creature and its brood have already laid waste to a dozen levels of the Spire, and nothing seems able to stop them. The whole Spire will be overrun in a matter of days if this horror isn't stopped. I have no other forces to deploy against it, Commander. You are the only hope. This place teems with Tyranid vermin. Then we know what we must do, dead. We will regret allowing even one alien to escape our wrath, Tarkas. You have bought Meridian precious time, Commander. With the Apex creature dead, Imperial Guard forces are deploying to eradicate the smaller organisms. That is a delaying tactic at best, Commander. Unless they destroy every microscopic spore, the infestation will eventually resurface. We cannot allow Meridian to fall, Commander! I have no love for the planetary nobility, but the billions below them must be saved! We are warriors, not saviors, Thaddeus. What? What does that even mean? That we are the Emperor's angels of death, not his angels of mercy. Leave saving to the Confessors and the Holy Sisters. How can you be so blind? We are weapons. But we fight for all those whom the Emperor protects. Here, today, we are their only hope. You can worry about hope and salvation, child. I will kill enough for us both. Commander, a huge Tyranid beast has emerged from the alien hives. This Carnifex is a veritable behemoth, moving with a surrounding swarm of lesser creatures. Bringing it down will also bring much needed relief to the Imperial Guard. They have neither the weapons, nor the training to kill such a beast. Drop successful, Commander. We are within striking distance of the Carnifex's position. 
The Hive will not leave it undefended. We must move. The monster for the chapter attack bioplasma clear that area Commander, we have located a powerful Hive Tyrant. This creature is at the apex of the Tyranid Hive's surface infestation. Eliminating this Tyrant would cause the Hive fleet to recoil and would leave legions of lesser creatures without leadership. This will slow the Hive fleet's activities and give you time to ready the three components of our plan. You must destroy this monstrosity. The Tyrant's last known location is marked on your map, Commander. Weapons ready.
there no end to the horrors we face? Only in their deaths. Or our own. Reposition. Targeting the major creatures does buy us time, Commander. We learned this too late when we fought the Tyranids at Victoria Primus. The Tyranids prevailed at Victoria Primus? They were defeated. But Victoria Primus was destroyed, and two entire fleets were lost. <laughs> Never send a scout to do a Space Marine's job. A Hive Tyrant has revealed its location, Commander. The Hive Mind is attempting to infest more regions, and this beast is likely trying to form a new Hive. Our Librarians feel the might of the Hive Mind channeled into the Tyrant, so expect it to be a powerful opponent. Strike down this Tyrant, and the Hive Mind will suffer. This will temporarily leave the Swarm in disarray. The Tyrant's last known location is marked on your map. is a scarce thing these days. We could use more of it. Hope is for fools, Thaddeus. The sooner you realize that, the sooner you will be worthy of your rank. Enough, Avitus. Thaddeus carries his weight on the battlefield as well as any of us. Commander, the Hive Mind is throwing its mightiest weapons at us. A hive tyrant leads an infestation into this region, consuming everything it encounters. Our librarians fear its goal is to establish a major new hive. This would accelerate the hive fleet's activities and could well doom the whole planet. Exterminate the hive tyrant before it can nest. Deploy and attack! Devastators under enemy counter attack! the beast.
not the alien to live. Victory has its own price. Speak your mind, Thaddeus. With each victory, I can feel more and more of myself slipping away. Continue. In battle, it used to be a great rush, a thrill. Now more and more it's become... Purer. Simpler. Yes. Both of those. I go to a place where my spirit and body are one. A perfect weapon honed by powers far beyond me. You are leaving behind the remnants of your life before the chapter found you. A great honor, but melancholy. And not without costs. You are not one of them anymore. Them. Humans. Men. No. I'm not quite one of them anymore. You are purging yourself of a weakness, Thaddeus. But there are more to come. You cling to hope, which just brings despair. We are weapons. There is the Emperor, and there is war. Nothing more. There is the chapter, Avitus. And its secrets? And its lies? Who ever heard of a chapter that has forgotten its Primarch? We would sooner forget our own name. There is something dark and hidden there. And look at Captain Thule, a shadow of his former self who can barely stay conscious for a single battle. That's what heroism gets you. War is all we are. Killing is all we are good for. The rest is delusion. Maybe. But I will cling to hope for a while longer, I think. And if the secrets of the chapter cost me that, well, I will still stand with my brothers. All of them. As will we all. As will we all. Commander, grave news. The Tyranid hive mind's efforts continue to stymie our travels through the warp. Our last astropath suffers now in the effort to transmit this message to you, and only a few librarians and navigators remain to guide us. It is unlikely the Litany of Fury will ever emerge from the warp. But if this is to be our end aboard this vessel, we die with pride, because the hive mind's efforts have clearly cost it. Our surviving librarian reports that the Tyranid fleet's main hive ship even now approaches planet Typhon to feed. This is the gargantuan organism that houses the brain of the hive fleet. Your strike force can deliver a killing blow while it feeds. I have transmitted a tactical briefing to your planetary map display. On a final note, you may tell Captain Thule that the secrets of Cyrene die with me. Angelos out. Commander, we have received orders from Captain Angelos to deliver several concentrated biotoxin doses to you. I have readied a contingent of Imperial Guard veterans to provide you with additional firepower during this critical mission. More hindrance than help. Many are veterans of Angel Gate, Commander. They see supporting you as a matter of duty. They will deploy in Valkyrie gunships and rendezvous with you on the surface of Typhon. Accept their help, Commander. In this battle, we are all brothers. Commander, I will remain aboard the Armageddon to provide fire support during your mission. And I will do the same from Thunderhawk 2. The Armageddon will not last long against an entire Hive fleet. It will last as long as we need it to, Cyrus. Getting the toxin to the capillary tower is all that matters now. Commander. Your cruiser will punch its way into the mass of smaller Tyranid ships guarding the main Hive fleet. Once in position, the Armageddon will drop your hand-picked squad's fire drop pod toward the base of the massive capillary tower that is feeding the main Hive ship. Thanks to the data you collected earlier, Apothecary Gordian has readied a special biotoxin. You are to poison the tower, and through it, the brain of the Hive fleet itself. This should deal a lethal dose to the Hive Mind, and send the Hive Fleet into disarray. One way or another, this will be the last battle of the defense of Aurelia. May the Emperor grant us victory. Angelos out.
The vile intelligence at the heart of the High Fleet has made itself vulnerable. Strike as its tendrils tap into the planet below. Feed it the poison we have developed. No matter the cost, you must bring it low. Commander, the Hive Fleet feeds through massive capillary towers. Each tower draws from many veins in the surrounding terrain. These veins are where you must deliver the biotoxin. You can repeat the dimension. Armageddon! Come in! Come in! The first of the veins is ahead! Move out! Space Marines approaching. Sergeant Merrick, report. Xenos forced down our Valkyrie, sir. Scattered us across the damn landscape. We'll take more than a few bruises to take us out of the fight, though. Third squad down to six men, Sergeant. No survivors from second. Right. Morris, form survivors into full squads and then inventory what gear we have left. Fagan, get the remains of the first squad into a perimeter and then get that blasted Ospex working. Biotoxin delivery. Underway. Movement detected. Aliens on approach. Enemy attacks from the north. All right, men. These things are here to take our worlds away from us. I, for one, do not intend to let that happen. Form up into defensive firing lines. Commander, this is Underhawk 2. Tarantulas are ready to drop a position to skip forward. Concentrate, lads, fire! Warrior beast, open fire! Here in the it is done. Move on. Destroy them. Poisoning, twenty-five percent complete. Conserving ammunition. How do you get? complete. Successfully, Commander. Another enemy crushed. Run. Heading out. Under attack. These monsters in a twisted nightmare. The whole damn planet is infected. Commander, we need to administer another dose of biotoxin at a second site. There are exposed veins further along the ridge. 
Survivors from 3rd Platoon! Fall in and join the fight, Guardsmen! Best to destroy the rest of these nests, Commander. Fortifications are on your side. He's here, Scott. Move on! Second biotoxin delivery, starting now. Commander, north and south approaches are both vulnerable. Thunderhawk 2, Commander. We have taken damage, but we can deploy additional tarantula guns at your command. Warrior beast, open fire! Enemy destroyed. Percent complete. Poisoning fifty percent complete. It is done. Move on. Assuming this works. Scouts here, still engaged. This way, it is done. Move on. It worked. Yes. Die, you alien scum. Yeah. All right. Thank the emperor. So this isn't over. Not the war guardsmen, no. But our part in it is at an end. But the hives here on the ground will recover soon enough. And I can assure you that we will not last long. And the Armageddon is gone. We have nowhere to fall back to. Come, Thaddeus. Did you imagine any of us would return from this mission? No. I suppose I did not. But I cannot imagine a better end than this. Then I guess we better take as many of the damn bugs with us as we can. Well said, Sergeant. Well said indeed, Abatus. Brothers, make yourselves ready. And may we meet again at the right side of the Emperor. Commander, we have dropped a spread of relay beacons. 
Make your way to the closest one and activate it so we have a fix on your position. I am getting readings from one of the beacons, Commander. Marking it on map display. Aerial assault, go! Coordinates received. Drop pods away! Enemy unit. Hive enemy. Taste the fury of the Blood Ravens! Commander, we have one more task in this cursed place. The Hive Mind is using a powerful Alpha creature to maintain control over its land-based forces on this world. We must kill this beast. It will fall, Captain Angelos. The beast nests at the top of these ruins. Move out when you are ready, and I will accompany you. The rest of our forces will guard our flanks. Chapter and the Sector owe you a great debt, Space Marines. We did our duty, Captain. Nothing more. Few could have done it better, Cyrus. This... Long ago, the Emperor foresaw humanity's need for warriors unlike any of us. Warriors who could face the unbearable horror lurking among the stars. Who, on the day of certain defeat, would be victorious. You and your space marines are those warriors, Commander. Thanks to you, human life still thrives in Orion. The Blood Ravens still have their recruiting worlds, and the Imperium still thrives in the Aurelia Sector. Your deeds will never be forgotten. 